Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you my top gift ideas for the holiday season. As the holidays near, we are searching for those gifts that keep on giving, not just something that you give and it gets set aside. Those gifts that can continue to be used well after they were given. All of that being said, I'm going to share some items that I've been enjoying, but I also think will make great gifts. First on the list is going to be the Bonai portable charger. I did mention this one in a previous video where I hauled it. It was part of a huge Amazon haul. But I actually took this one on my recent Disney trip and I only charged it one time. I did use it to charge my phone and other items while on my trip. And again, this thing stayed charged. I don't think I charged it more than one time. You can also get the traveling case from Amazon as well. I will tell you it is a very soft case. I had it in my part bag and where it was leaning up against something, it did put little dents in it. But if you're just using this for everyday use, then I think it will be perfect. So if you get both of these for someone, the charger and the carrying case, that is a great gift. You are giving them something that they can continue to use. Everybody's using technology these days. So it's not like it's going to just sit in a drawer somewhere. They are going to put this to use. The next item I want to share with you is for either the coffee drinker in your life or someone who likes like hot tea, herbal tea, something that they are going to drink that is hot. And it is this travel mug from Target. Okay, you're thinking a mug. What? Why am I giving a mug? This travel mug for me is special. I don't drink coffee, but I do like herbal tea and I like it hot. This one, not only do you have this little protective guard on the bottom for anything that you set it on, but the handle does not get hot. While this outer portion does get hot, the handle does not. I don't know if they made it out of a different material or what, but it does not get the same temperature as the rest of the mug. Now this one is also microwavable safe and dishwasher safe. So you can just pop this one in the microwave if you want to warm it up or if you want to get that water hot without boiling it using a kettle or something. And then cleanup is easy because you just pop it in the dishwasher. It's going to be fine. It does come with this little lid. I would not rely on this lid too much because it is one that just pops in and out. There is a little groove here, but again, it's not going to be the most secure lid. So just know that. But I actually really like this mug. It holds a good amount. The handle doesn't get hot. It has this protective guard on the bottom and the lid does have this little open and close closure on there. My next items are simple. They would make great stocking stuffers and they are going to be these crystal nail files from Amazon. I had previously used these back for a few years. I think I saw Jessica Braun using them and I've been trying them for a while. When it came time for my Disney trip, I purchased new ones for that. Honestly, I didn't need them, but I did take them just in case. I actually thought I lost them there for a while, but I did find them. They do come in these little carrying pouches. That way the nail file themselves are not exposed. And they're great for travel. You have this little small mini one that you can just pop in your purse, bag, whatever you choose. Then you have this kind of medium sized one. And I say medium because this set only came with two but there is a set that has an even larger one. That one I found I did not have any use for. I didn't ever use it. So this two pack is great. Keep this one in your purse, keep this one in your vanity, in a dresser, wherever you keep things at home. My next item is a piece of jewelry. Jewelry can be a little tricky to purchase for someone else, but this one I think is a safe bet. This one is going to be this little emerald cut sideways square necklace. I did get this one from Etsy. I did mention it in, I think, a favorites video in the past, but this one I really like. It comes on this gold chain here. Now, I'm sure they're not real gold. It's coming from Etsy, but this design here, I had so much trouble finding this emerald cut pendant sideways. It would be vertical, but I could not find it horizontal. So I finally found it on Etsy, got it. This necklace I like because you can dress it up or you can just wear it every day very casually. It will look nice and give you that little bit of an elevated look to any look that you're wearing. My next item is a very important item. It may not seem like it, but it is. And it is going to be this portable fan from Amazon. Again, I've mentioned this before in a haul. As you may have seen, if you've seen some of my past videos, 
I did just get back from a Disney trip and this was in my park bag every day. There were a few times when it was starting to get really hot, be it in a store or outside. The stores were sometimes hot because there were so many people in there, so much body heat. Just click this little fan on. It has three different speeds. It actually has a mist or two. You can fill this reservoir with water and it will mist at you. I didn't do that because I was afraid of it kind of spilling out in my part bag. So I just used the fan itself. I also had other people in my party using it. It definitely came through. It's small, it's compact, it doesn't take up very much room and it's adjustable. So if you're just sitting at a table or wherever and just taking a break, you can just have it sitting there blowing on you, giving you that little bit of fresh air. Absolutely love it. I cannot explain it to you enough. This one, if you're looking for a portable fan, try it, come back, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's worth it or not. For me, I will be keeping this with me when I go to the beach, if I go to the river, if I go back to Disney, wherever, there's a possibility of me getting hot, I'll be taking this fan. Speaking of the beach, the next item I want to share with you is going to be a beach bag. I have mentioned this one before. This is what I used this past summer when going to the beach, going to the river, and it's massive. If you are just taking a bag for yourself, it might be a little much. For me, I like taking a lot of things when I go, but if you are packing for two people or more, this one is really gonna save you a lot of time and stress. There are two compartments on it, one being waterproof. The compartment that the inner lining is white, that is your waterproof section. So any electronics, kind of driver's license, things like that, money, that you don't want to get wet or damaged, put in that side. All your other, you know, change of clothes, towels, sunscreen, that sort of stuff can be put in the other pocket. It does have a Velcro strap on the top so you can strap those two handles together. The entire bag is water resistant, but it is not waterproof. I did have some items in the non-waterproof section that did get a little damp when my bag got wet at the river, but it wasn't completely soaked or saturated. But this one is big enough to put everything but the kitchen sink pretty much. And again, especially if you're packing for more than one person, I definitely think this bag could help you. It comes in a variety of different patterns, so you can just choose the pattern that fits you and your personality the most. My next item is going to be another drink container, and it is going to be an insulated cup. Insulated cups have become a really big part of my life, and I know a lot of other people's. The th great thing about insulated cups, now you have a variety of price points to choose from. There for a while, it was pretty much like a Yeti or nothing but you have options now. I know Stanley, you know, is another up there priced cup, but this one here from Tao from Walmart works just as well. This one also has at the bottom where it will fit in your car cup holder. I know that's a big thing with insulated cups. Not all of them fit. I still have some myself that don't, but an insulated cup at whatever price point you can afford, the style, the color that you want to give someone, you can find it, be it at Walmart, Target, Amazon, Academy, and I promise whoever you're giving this to as a gift will be very appreciative. Now my next gift is gonna be for the makeup lover in your life. This isn't just one product, but it's kind of a little gift set that I think would be nice to give as an extra, as a stocking stuffer, just that little extra something. And for that, I put together this little care package, if you will. I just took a cellophane wrapper with some holiday grass. I did get this idea from Madison Payne from one of her past gift guides and I thought it was a great idea. But I just put some Milani setting spray in here, an e.l.f. primer, and then some under eye patches. It doesn't have to be extensive, it doesn't have to be anything specific. This you can give to, like I said, the makeup lover in your life without it having to be exact. You're not picking out a foundation color. You're not picking out eyeshadows. You are giving them something that pretty much anyone could use. This setting spray, this primer, and eye patches. It makes a great little gift and it presents really well. Now this one I do just have kind of tied here, but you could do so much more with that as well to level it up, make it look even nicer. So I think this, some of my sisters might be getting these this Christmas. Don't tell them. My last 
item is going to be a robe. This time of year, even here where I am in southern Alabama, it does tend to get a little bit cooler. And sometimes, especially in the mornings, you just want a nice, cozy robe. Walmart has you on this one. You can either get the long, cozy robes or the one that I will show you here, I'll insert a picture, is a little bit shorter. So either way, you have options. They are both warm, they're both cozy. There's something that you could just spend the day in if you wanna just wrap up in this or if you have on a lounge or pajama set and you just wanna put one of these robes over that, you are set. Just pop you on a Christmas movie and you are good to go for the day. Those are my Christmas gift guide ideas. If you try any of these, then please come back and comment down below. Let me know what you chose to give. I did mention a few past videos that I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen for you. If you're interested in seeing any of these, then go ahead and click the screen here. I hope that you will subscribe. That way I can see you in the next video where I hope to see you there.